Another place to look is Pedro, which is Physiotherapy Evidence Database. And so these are some highlights within it that I'm going to show you when we jump over to that database. So again, we're going to go to the library homepage. All right, we're at the library homepage. We're going to go to articles and databases, browse list of available, and then do control F and search for Pedro. So it pops up and then we will click that. So Pedro Physiotherapy Evidence Database from the University of Sydney. So we'll click that. So what's different about Pedro versus some of the other databases that we've looked at is that this essentially is just kind of an aggregator. And so this is kind of a clearinghouse where it's providing you abstracts or links out to articles, but may not necessarily have the full text available. So there are different ways to use this database. So there is the search option here, browse, learn, resources, about. The two areas that we're gonna look at are browse and search. So first I'm gonna show you browse. So when we click that, what's now going to pop up, and this is really handy, this is a new feature that they have. So they have major categories listed out here, and then it links to the newest clinical guidelines, systematic reviews, clinical trials for each of these particular areas. You can also set it up so it will send you this information as well. So let's say that I wanted to look at musculoskeletal, so I'll click that. And so then what this does is it takes me to the entries within Pedro that relate to this new update. And so what's great about Pedro is that it'll give you the title right here, and then it will tell you method. So where this is where it'll tell you it's either a practice guideline, it's a systematic review, or they'll also have uh, typically, it will say clinical trial as well. So this looks like it's just a lot of systematic reviews. So then if there, let's say we just click on that first one, we click on it, so it's going to give you the title, the authors, where it's been published, that it's a practice guideline, and then it's going to tell you how to get to the article. And so again, this is where it links out to something. It doesn't necessarily have the full text available. So you could then click PubMed, and then what it will do is it'll redirect you through to PubMed, where it then gives you the option of that full text. And so then we could go over here on the right where it says full text links and then click on it. So that is one way. So what I like about Pedro is that it's specifically geared for OT and PT in a lot of ways. And so this is kind of, I would think, a good place to do some of your searches. So. Again, this is that just browse where it's giving us these general overarching categories that you could potentially look at. So let's say you want to do a more specific search. So this is that browse section. So then if we click go up where it says Pedro in the corner and then it says search. So we're gonna click search. And so this is taking you to their advanced search page. And so you can look for a specific article. You can also set some really interesting limits in here. So they have therapy. You can look for specific kinds of therapy. You can look at specific kinds of problems, specific body parts, subdiscipline, topic, method. So there's, if you're just looking for a guideline, just looking for a review, just looking for a clinical trial. So let's just say that I am interested in clinical trials and we're gonna keep it pretty simple. And I am just going to, I'm just really kind of looking for anything related to multiple sclerosis. We're just gonna keep it very, very general. So if I have those keywords that I wanna put in, I'm going to put it up here in this top box for abstract and title. So because it isn't, it's not, doesn't have the full text, it's just looking at the abstracts, just looking at the titles. So I will put my, my topic there, multiple sclerosis, I'm just looking for clinical trials, and then I click start search. 
And so it brought back 441 records, that's a lot. Um, and so maybe I want to then change the terms that I'm using, I wanna look at something specific. And so then you can do continued searching. So if you click that, it will take you back to your search page. And so we'll put my little term back in. And then I'm gonna select therapy and let's say I'm interested just in education. And again, I'm interested in those clinical trials. And then I do start search. So now I'm getting about 71 records. So this is again, similar to PubMed, as good as how it's been indexed. So sometimes some things may slip through, but I would say overall, these are really great ways to potentially narrow the kind of research that you're coming across. And so this is another way to find that EBP research in Pedro, which is really kind of geared towards PT and OT. The nice thing about this database is that it's really clearing out a lot of the noise that you have to go through or find or kind of sift through in places like PubMed and CINAHL and the ProQuest database. This is really kind of getting you to the core of what you would probably want to find.